My name is Mike Chapman. I'm a retired fireman from Swansea, and I am incandescent with rage as to how the authorities are forcing this scandemic upon us and bringing the draconian measures totally illegally and unjustly. Those are my feelings, those are my thoughts, that's who I am. I hope this helps. So, you've asked for people's thoughts and feelings on the current world lunacy that we are all experiencing. <laughs> it is not a video long enough for me to go into what I believe are the dark forces behind all this. Uh, but what I'm going to attempt to do uh, in this hopefully shortish video is help all those people out there uh, that feel that they do not want to be forced to wear a face mask or forced to take a vaccine because you know that's coming don't you when this vaccine is found they will make it mandatory they want everybody to have it nobody can force you to do that neither the face mask nor the vaccine because if they do they will be in contravention of the Nuremberg code for medical ethics as well as your human rights so the Nuremberg code for medical ethics what is that as you no doubt all know at the end of world war ii you had the nuremberg trials where various individuals were put on trial for the atrocities that were carried out throughout world war ii uh, amongst which the likes of joseph mengele the Ge uh, german doctor who carried out his experiments on some of the poor souls mainly at auschwitz and what came out of this was um, the nuremberg code for medical ethics which strives to ensure that no person on the planet would ever have to undergo any kind of medical treatment or intervention that was against their will. Came up with 10 points. Um, I'll go through them. Some of them don't really apply to this current world situation, but never, most do. But I'll go through the 10 points. Bear with. Number one is possibly the most important. Voluntary consent is essential. <laughs> It cannot be more explanatory than that. Voluntary consent is essential. Number two, the results must be for the greater good of society. Well, debatable. Human experiments should be based on previous animal experimentation. Experiments should be conducted avoiding physical, mental suffering or injury. Physical or mental suffering or injury. If you're walking around subjugated by a mask, is that not going to be mental suffering? Number five, no experiments should be conducted if it is believed to cause death or disability. Again, the vaccine, it has not been tested. We do not know what it's going to cause. Number six, the risks should never exceed the benefits. Again, what's in the vaccine? Number seven, adequate facilities should be used to protect subjects. Number eight, Experiments should be conducted only by qualified scientists, not madcap politicians who have no idea what science it is they're following. Number nine, subjects should be able to end their participation at any time. End their participation at any time, or not even enter into the participation. participation. There, it is, there it is again, you do not have to do it. Number 10, the scientists in charge must be prepared to terminate the experiment when injury, disability or death is likely to occur. This law about mask wearing, especially in England, it's in for a whole year. It's not temporary, it's not going to be normal by Christmas, it's in for a whole year, regardless of what injuries are caused. It's not allowed. So, there you go. Those are the 10 points of the Nuremberg Code for Medical Ethics. Now then, your human rights. Article 6 of the UNESCO Statement on Bioethics and Human Rights. Article 6, Section 1. Any preventative diagnostic and therapeutic medical intervention is only to be carried out with the prior free informed consent of the person concerned, based on adequate information. The consent should, where appropriate, be expressed and may be withdrawn by the person concerned at any time and for any reason without disadvantage or prejudice without disadvantage or prejudice if you're not allowed to go onto a train because you're not wearing a mask you have been disadvantaged if you're not allowed entry into a shop because you have no mask on 
you are being disadvantaged. They are not allowed to do it. Anybody that tries to stop you, they are not allowed. They are in contravention of your human rights. Article 6, Section 3. In no case should a collective community agreement or the consent of a community leader or other authority substitute for an individual's informed consent. Community leader or other authority. So that's, there's no local government, there's no central government, there's no police. Nobody can substitute your permission to do whatever it is they want to do. They cannot make you wear a mask. They cannot make you take a vaccine. It's in contravention of your human rights. Just remember that. Stay safe, stay free. Do not subjugate yourselves. Thank you for listening.